Hey everyone, welcome to my birthday haul where I get to brag on all the stuff people gave me for my birthday. No, that is not what it is, but that's kind of what it feels like and I don't want it to feel that way. Um, I get, I'm making this video for two reasons. One, I got a lot of requests to do it, so I will honor your requests. And secondly, if you're thinking of some gifts for your friends, hopefully one or two of these things might be something that would be a good gift idea for you. Um, so that's why I'm doing it and not to be obnoxious, so hopefully you'll enjoy this. And um, also it's a way for me to publicly thank all of these wonderful people in my life, as well as of course following up with thank you notes. But okay, in no particular order, um, the first presents are edible and well, I love all of them for different reasons, but I was especially touched by these next two, the first two presents because they were completely unexpected and ridiculously generous and also because they're from a new friend who has become very dear to me very quickly. So Kristen Game, who also makes YouTube videos here on YouTube, that was a little redundant, um, and I will link her below, sent me, she lives far, far away from me in Wisconsin, but she is from the general area from where I am from. Um, I am originally from Chicago, so it's kind of the upper Midwest, and I have a lot of fond memories of vacationing in Wisconsin as a child and my husband's family has a home up there and we've spent many fun times up there and so I, ac I acquired a taste for a coffee from Door County, Wisconsin. The brand name is Door County Coffee Company and Kristen sent me two boxes of my all-time favorite coffee. It's um, Sinful Delight is the flavor and they're the K-Cups and the box looks like that. And this is um, I think I've already gone through a box. Yeah, so this is the second box that I just opened. And Door County Coffee Company loves supporting, well in this case not local, but small businesses and they you can order online and I'll put the link to them as well. And they're very sweet people and I miss going to the store in person because they have a really cute store in Door County. Thank you, Kristen. And then she followed that up, completely surprised me with, she sent me two Lou Malnati's deep dish cheese pizzas, which are my ultimate favorite. Like if I were to die and I needed to request a last meal, that would, I'd wake up with this and my last meal would be Lou Malnati's deep dish cheese pizza. I have eaten one and I've hidden away the other one from my family so that I don't have to share it and I will eat it at a later time. Luckily, none of them watch my videos. So thank you, Kristen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope to one day meet you in person for real because this is not working. We need to see each other. Okay. Then, what else? Okay. So my mom and dad, my mom, my parents and my brother sent me gift cards to Amazon and Macy's. And I can never have, if like for me personally as a reader, I can never have enough Amazon gift card credit. Like I live on my Kindle. I, I just, I love it. So perfect, perfect presents. Haven't used the Macy's gift card yet. Kind of not sure what I want. Sometimes I just like to sit on it and just think on it. So then um, my dear friend Lee um, took me to lunch at one of my favorite restaurants, the restaurant in Neiman Marcus. It's just the most, mine is called the um, Mariposa. Some of the times they're called Zodiac Room, but I love lunching in Neiman Marcus. Like, it's not somewhere you go for an everyday kind of lunch. It's definitely a little more special. You get a little more dressed up. It's definitely a ladies who lunch kind of place. It is the best place in San Antonio to people watch. The women that walk in there are all like decked out, gorgeous. It was, it's just, and the food's amazing and it's pretty. And anyway, it's a great place to take a girlfriend for lunch. So if you're thinking of a fun spot to take a friend for a very special lunch, that's my recommendation. Not just in San Antonio, but anywhere where there's a Neiman Marcus. But anyway, it took me to lunch and also bought me this beautiful necklace, which um, it's a longer necklace. It's from Kate Spade and it alternates with these little like kind of I'll take it off and show you. Um, kind of these milky white stones and then these kind of yellowy things. And there's something about yellow that just goes with everything. It's like a nice contrasting color. So I love it. Thank you, Lee. And then my friend Katie took me to lunch um, at another favorite restaurant here in San Antonio. This is kind of centered towards San Antonio people, but if you like Japanese food, I love Komori um, on Santerra Parkway and I'll list their info below as well. Great lunches there. I always get the um, chicken hibachi bowl. Not bowl, like the griddle. Anyway, and she gave me really, three really awesome bracelets. 
These two, I don't know where she got them. I am so sorry. I asked her. I think she said she found them on Hot Look, but um, they're blue glass beads. And then this one are like two, I say they're panthers because, well, I'll tell you what, panthers holding like this little jeweled ring. And then, um, and I shall put it on. And then this one is similar beads, but it has like a pave gold ball. Um, these go with my younger son's middle school mascot and school colors. So not only do I just like them for themselves, but um, they will work very well for football season in the fall. So I'm loving those. She, I turned her on to Lisa Freed. I got a necklace from them from Neiman Marcus and then she loved it and hunted down the designer. And she ended up getting me this, um, I don't know what the, these beads are made out of. They're like kind of a dark brownie black. I'm not sure what color they are. And then this one little delicate gold bead I just love. And then the Lisa Freed um, tag right there. So it's just a pretty delicate um, beaded bracelet and this little gold accent. I just, it just makes it perfect. And it sits very nicely next to my watch. So that is that. And then um, two more friends took me to lunch again. This is ridiculous. It's an embarrassment of riches in the friendship department took me to another one of my favorite restaurants where I actually had ate at twice this um, week. One from when my little nuclear family took me to dinner on my birthday and then with my girlfriends. It's called Pasha and it is Persian food, Iranian food, and um, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Can't get enough of it. Clearly since I've eaten there three times in, um, in a week. Which reminds me, I have one more piece of jewelry to show you, which I'll show you at the end. Um, anyway, they gave me a gift certificate to Sephora, and of course I immediately had to go to Sephora and spend it. And I haven't spent the whole thing yet, but um, the one thing that I got, and I did tweet about this, so it may not come as a shock, is I saw this on Tiffany D's Instagram post. I haven't watched the video yet of her Sephora haul, but she got this Illa Masca nail polish called Jomina. It looks like that. And I've never had any Illamasqua polish before. This color is, this might be my all time favorite color. It's just so bright and lavender, purple, springtime, summer. I just, I love it. It makes me happy when I look at this color. I just, I just look at my fingers and smile. This really has, doesn't have anything to do with my birthday per se, but it is the Sephora haul and, or not Sephora haul time. It is the Sephora VIB sale time. So I picked up a couple other things at Sephora. So I thought I'd throw them in there too, because there isn't a lot to show. One of them is my new favorite bronzer. It's the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It's a light medium matte bronzer. It was recommended by a million people, including Lisa Eldridge. And when Lisa says this is the best bronzer for pale skin, you buy it. So I bought it. And um, it's very similar to the Sephora bronzer that I love, Los Cabos, but it is just a teeny bit lighter. And it's lovely. And even though I don't love chocolate, I have to admit that the smell makes me very happy. So I'm enjoying that. And yes, I've gone a little crazy with the bronzer today. Just felt a little pasty, so. And then the reason I'm not wearing lipstick is because I haven't decided which of these colors to put on yet. The first one that I bought was um, a Bite Lip Pencil, and it is in Bouquet, which is probably the color that I'm gonna go with. I'm not sure yet. And it's just a very wearable, soft, peachy pink, very, springy, I guess that's why it's called bouquet. Love this formulation, very easy to apply. And the other thing I picked up is a complete departure from my regular color choices, but I have to say they are my favorite. The only reason I'm hesitant to put it on is I'm going clothes shopping after this and I know that I can't wear this when I'm clothes shopping because I'll get it all over everything, but I'll wipe it off, I'll put it on for you. So it's one of those double-sided lipsticks and the first color, oh god, I don't know which color I like better. This color is Palomino. This is bright, like way, way, way bright. It's a, it's like a reddish hot pink. Wow, look at that. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And then the other color, which is what I bought it for and is a favorite, is Violet. And this is like a, it's in the Radiant Orchid family, I'd say, but it's a fuchsia. I mean, it is just... And it is so pretty that I'm gonna put it on and then wipe it off later because I just, I wanna show you how pretty it is. Um, I do have lip balm on, which helps. I also have a makeup brush hair on my lips, that's nice. I would probably recommend wearing lip liner with this. 
it's a very creamy pigmented color but because it's so creamy I think it could travel um, especially at my advanced age so this is what it looks like I love it and then the last present I'm going to show you which is actually the first present that I got for my birthday this year is from my friend Kiki it is this beautiful necklace this this color combination is probably one of my favorites I wish I oh she got it at Francesca's yeah got it at Francesca's and can you see it's just I love the color of the I guess they're stones technically and the gold is sort of like um I don't know I just I'm not describe I'm not gonna even attempt to describe it like this is just what it looks like and I have already worn it I wore it against a solid blue tank top I've worn it I'm really getting into contrasting it this would look great with just a white t-shirt it's delicate yet bold at the same time and it makes a pretty noise when you wear it so I love it and I have um, earrings that match it very nicely just a, actually a couple pairs so I really it's, it's very very pretty and I love it so oh then there was the big present almost forgot the best part um, on my birthday weekend we were coming home from a, a major league baseball game and um, which is a rare event here in San Antonio and it just happens to coincide with my birthday in the last couple of years the Rangers who are Texas Rangers who are from the Dallas area um, came into town to play the Houston Astros from Houston and um, my family being huge baseball fans of course we went to go watch it and I got to meet a subscriber which was really really fun but um, on the way home my husband said you know what let's just stop at the mall because we're not going to be too far from the mall North Star and um, let's pop in a sacks and get you something for your birthday and I thought well there's really you know that's kind of beyond the budget I thought we were planning on here and he says well just let's just go look around anyway he blew what I had in mind out of the water, was very, very surprised, and um, I came home with a new handbag, because I like handbags, and I got this one. And uh, isn't she pretty? This is the Gucci Soho Disco Bag, because the leather's from their Soho line, and I don't know why it's called a disco bag, and it's not because, I smushed it already, it's not, there's nothing in it. It's not because it's metallic. Uh, it comes in a ton of colors, and I actually had to narrow down between this color and a raspberry pink one, very similar to my lipstick actually. I went with this, it's the pewter, and it's a lot more, I think, versatile. It, it, it goes silver, but it looks good with browns, black, it just goes with every color. I chose this particular size and style because I have a ton of really large purses. What I wanted was um, more of an everyday purse that I could use as a crossbody. It has this long strap, whoops. It's very floppy. Okay, has a long adjustable strap, so I can wear it as a crossbody. I can shorten it, and I have, and used it as just as an over-the-shoulder bag. Um, but my life is not particularly formal, and so I wanted a bag that had um, more uses in my everyday life. So for me, this is a great bag for walking around town, sightseeing, um, going to sporting events. I can wear it, you know, like a crossbody. And when I'm sitting in the bleachers at a football game, I don't have to worry about it falling, you know, off the bleachers, onto the ground, or what have you. I like that it zips, so it's very secure. Um, it's bigger than some of my other really small bags, so I can actually fit quite a lot of stuff in it. If you open it up, um, it's pretty big in there. I, you know, I have to pare down some, but not quite a lot. There, it's got a place to put it has two interior pockets so that's kind of nice and I also like that if I don't want to be flashy I can wear it with the label turned in and then it's just this pretty rectangular bag so that's the bag thank you darling I say that but he will never see this video he doesn't watch my videos um, that was my birthday haul I really enjoyed celebrating it with my family and friends that of course is the best part the rest of the stuff is just the cherry on top um, thank you to all of you who wished me a happy birthday. I, um, what can I say? I love birthdays because the alternative is not having a birthday and that is not okay. So I don't mind getting older. It's, it's a privilege and an honor. Thanks again for all of you, your birthday wishes, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.